talked about the precipitation and visibility restriction part of this group, but the next part of this group to look at is our cloud information. So here we have a table that shows you some different contractions that you will see on a METAR and then the corresponding amount of coverage. So um, I'm going to talk in a minute about the difference between SKC and CLR. Few clouds would be 1 8 to 2 8 coverage, scattered clouds 3 8 to 4 8 and so on. These clouds right here, if we see either broken, if we see overcast or vertical visibility, that's VV, these are all a ceiling. So these are specific to constituting ceilings. Why do you need to know if something's a ceiling or not? Well, as you get into flying under instrument flight rules, dispatch applications, it is really important to know the difference between when something constitutes a ceiling and when it does not. So a scattered cloud layer is not a ceiling. A layer of clouds that says few is also not a ceiling. Now, the difference between CLR and SKC. If you see CLR, it was completely computer automated. I remember C for computer means it's fully automated. SKC is um, used by manual stations, so a manual observation saying no clouds are present. If it says CLR, it's an automated station, but it says there's no clouds below 12,000 feet. There could be clouds above 12,000 feet, but it's still going to report CLR. Remember C, a computer made the observation. We use coverage in eighths, and like I mentioned, lower layers will hide higher layers. The only kinds of clouds that will be reported in this section of the METAR are cumulonimbus and towering cumulus. Sometimes we see other cloud types, but they would be reported in this section, which we haven't talked about yet, the remarks section, so they would appear after the remarks. It, you could have cumulonimbus or tower and cumulus clouds in this section of the METAR. The other important thing to notice is that ceiling heights are given in heights above ground level, AGL. So here we have a overcast layer at 900 feet. So that is 900 feet above the ground. And just going back to what we just talked about, is 900 overcast a ceiling? Yes, it is a ceiling. We have full 8 eighths coverage. So this is a ceiling, and it's at 900 feet above the ground. So I could take my airport elevation, add 900 feet, and that would tell me where the basis of those clouds have been observed. Let's talk about VV. So VV, vertical visibility, means we have an indefinite ceiling. And what we mean by an indefinite ceiling, I will show you in a picture here in a second. It's vertical visibility going upward into a surface-based observation or obscuration. Now, here is an example of where we have two different uh, ceilings going on here. On the top picture, I've got a ceiling of 500 feet. Below that ceiling, I have good visibility. I can see well as I'm coming into land. With this example, indefinite ceiling into this surface-based obscuration, we have poor visibility. This, this is basically, we can look up about 500 feet. If we looked up, we could see about 500 feet. However, we have very bad slant range visibility and slant range we just talked about on previous video. So a, a fog, for example, that's a surface-based obscuration. It doesn't have any bottom to it. It's not like this ceiling up here on the top picture where that, that, that's not fog, it's a cloud, okay? With the vertical visibility, it just has extremely poor visibility looking upward into that obscuration. So this would be, this bottom one, would be reported like this, VV005, a vertical visibility of 500 feet. And notice we have a visibility restriction given in my METAR as fog as well. So next group is the temperature group. This is a pretty straightforward group, easy to understand. 
we have the temperature given in the nearest degree in Celsius, and then we have the dew point in the nearest degree Celsius. Here's an example of one. Here I have an airport that's reporting a temperature of zero degrees and a dew point of M01. So what would M01 be? Well, if you think back to when we talked about visibilities and RVR, M again is minus, and it works even better for temperature and dew point. So my dew point here is negative one degrees Celsius. Okay, they do round that to the nearest degree. All right, also I wanna ask another quick question on this slide. Where is my ceiling? All right, here's my cloud group. We have broken at 400 feet and overcast at 900 feet. Okay, which of those is our ceiling? Well, is broken a ceiling? Let's look back at my cloud information and we see that, yep, a ceiling is broken. So broken does constitute a ceiling. Let's go back to my METAR here. So broken does constitute a ceiling. In this case, I am gonna say, okay, we're going with the lowest one that's actually defined as a ceiling. So today, my airport has a ceiling of 400 feet, and that's in AGL, remember, above ground level. So you'll need to be able to take a look at a METAR, which might have multiple layers of clouds, and figure out where is the ceiling. All right, the next group here that we come to is our altimeter setting group. And that's our altimeter setting, our current pressure at elevation. It starts with A, you'll notice it here. It doesn't have any decimal point. It's pretty obvious where to put it once you realize that this is in inches. So we just put our decimal point right there. Here's another example. This one's at, um, looks like an Alpine airport here. And we have a altimeter setting a3012, okay, so that tells me that the station pressure is 30.12 inches of mercury, and that's how we read that.